Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel and today I have a quick video for you because I have just one jewelry subscription that's been sent to me for review from Mint Mongoose. Now if you are a regular viewer of this channel, you know that sometimes when I have subscriptions that only have two or three items in them each month, I will go ahead and put them together into what I call a mashup, where I will open two or three subscriptions all in one 20-ish minute video. But occasionally I do like to give these smaller subscriptions in terms of the items that are inside. Sometimes I like to give them a dedicated video, which means they are the only subscription featured in that video so they can use it for their social media or put it on their website or just sometimes I feel like they deserve some time as well. Plus, I think it's nice for you to have some variation in the length of the videos because I know a lot of times you just listen along while I'm keeping you company, whether you're doing some chores or waiting online somewhere. And so occasionally it's nice to have a quicker, more like 10 minute video to enjoy. So that is what we have got for you today. Now, if you're not familiar with Mint Mongoose, they are a jewelry subscription and they actually send a set to you every single month. There are two items inside. You can let them know ahead of time if you prefer gold, rose gold, or silver, and then you can kind of move around. Uh, you just have to email them, I believe, to change your preferred jewelry tone. You can also let them if, know if you don't have pierced ears or you prefer not to get earrings, and they will have an alternative item for you. And it is very well priced at just $29.99 per month. And I do have a fantastic code for you. It is Noel50 or Noel50. That'll save you 50% on your first set. So you'll get your first set of two items items for just $15, which I think is a great deal. And they do all kinds of fun bonus things. And um, I always really love taking the time to read the inspiration behind the sets. So your set will come in a mailer and then inside there will be a nice um, envelope that has a mint colored ribbon and a mint mongoose on it on the seal of course and there's usually an image that kind of gives you a hint as to the theme or the inspiration for the set this month. So let's see, it says, just keep swimming. I love that. I haven't actually seen a lot of previews for Mint Mongoose on social media. I have to maybe go in there and like a bunch of their of their photos so that they start being in my feed again. But a lot of the times you do have a kind of a preview of the upcoming month. So if you want to switch around now, I feel like this is going to be an ocean themed set. Now, I usually go with gold. That is my preferred jewelry tone, even though I wear all three. So I usually with a kind of oceany beachy vibe jewelry go with silver but sometimes that like sometimes it can look very elegant if you go with the gold so these are sort of just fashion jewelry you know they're not necessarily pieces that are gonna last you forever and ever but they are a really fun way to update your wardrobe and again these are jewelry pieces that you get to keep you don't have to send them back or swap them out as you do with some other jewelry subscriptions that I do review here on the channel so let me go ahead and start opening up our envelope and in the meantime I will read the inspiration from from Helena. So it says, this month's set is inspired by life's knack for knocking us down time and time again. Yep, it makes me think of Chumbawamba, right? <laughs> it says, the ocean is one of the things I miss most about my home state where we moved from for a few years ago. When we, where we lived in California, the beach was never too far away. And that is something, honestly, that is very important to me as someone who grew up in Hawaii, hence my channel name. I live in Southern California. So even though I don't honestly go to the beach that often because I'm a wimp and I find the ocean here very, very cold, um, I love having the ocean nearby. It's something that I just, I kind of just need to know that it is there. My husband has grown up in California and really never lived anywhere else. So every time he talks about moving somewhere else, I'm like, I think you're going to miss the ocean if you do that. So especially as a surfer. Now, one of the other fun things about this subscription is inside of that envelope, there is always a Werther's original as a little treat. Then we have all of our uh, jewelry wrapped up in a, some mint tissue paper. And I was just noticing it looks like there's actually three um, little packets this time. And it looks like they've actually changed the look of their little card that's on there. Because usually we don't necessarily get a card on every single one. But these cards, they do say, oh, this is interesting. I didn't know this, but let me tell you. It says, spend $40 on individual items in our online shop and receive your next box free. 
that's pretty cool. So you can pack, like shop um, past uh, sets as well as other designs that she's got on there. So definitely check that out, you guys. So, all right, um, some beautiful pieces here. Let me go back to the inspiration. But yes, we do have three different things. So this is something she hasn't done for a while where I believe there are two necklaces that can be layered together or worn separately, which I think is kind of fun. So it says, I have two specific memories that shoot to mind when I think of the beach. One is our son Emerson's first time at the beach. He was two at the time and absolutely loved it. I always love seeing kids first times at the beach as well as dogs. I love seeing dogs their first time at the beach because they're just like, so they, they're like, what is this? And then they're like, this is awesome. Um, usually, usually, but, or like when you put a baby's toes in the ocean for the first time and they're like, what, what is that? It's, it's so fun. Um, it says the second memory is from my teen years, shortly after my fifth knee dislocation. Oh my goodness, Helena, that is no good. It says, um, I was just getting used to being stable on my feet again after a long while on crushes. Being a wild teen, I thought it was a good idea to try and go into the ocean. Well, I do, I will say, I think that the ocean is very healing, but um, if you haven't healed up quite yet from a knee dislocation, and it's something that happens to you a lot, uh, the ocean is beautiful, but also very powerful. So uh, you need to be very aware of what's going on and also strong enough to, to, to make sure you're in the right place at the right time. So I'm just opening up all these packages, you guys. Sorry for the... I'm getting a little uh, unboxing ASMR, which I know sometimes you guys are like, let us see it. And then just the setup for my office, I honestly, I can't like zoom in and out. So you don't always get to see me opening things up. Sometimes you just hear it, but that's what, that's what I'm messing around with. All right, so now I've got everything naked in their little bubble wrappers. All right, so it says, as uh, soon as I got half leg deep, the waves began knocking me over. It was clear then that I didn't have enough strength in my newly healed knee to withstand the water's push, especially like right about at knee height, man, that'll knock you over. It took about three weeks to, it took about three waves to knock me down and what felt like forever, a few mouthfuls of sand and many, many wave smacks to overcome the fall and stand again. In all honesty, I remember it being quite scary and traumatic, but I had made it through. Indeed, when you get knocked over and like washing machine by a wave. It is, it is rough. It says now 17 years later, I can see so many similarities between this fight to stand and daily life. The getting knocked down time and time again, the being hit while you're down, wrong your, um, <laughs> editor here, and the difficulty in brushing yourself off and getting back at it after a blow. It's all a spinning image in my tumble with the ocean at 15 years old. The blue in this set is meant to resemble the vast ocean and the waves life throws at us. The metal in this set is meant to resemble the ground we use to push ourselves back up as we are knocked down time and time again. I hope that when you wear this set, you feel inspired to give that thing you've been trying to conquer another go. Try a bit harder than you thought possible and push through when it's tough. You've got this, friend. So, but also maybe a reminder to make sure that you've done the preparation, right? And that you are, are ready to tackle tackle that challenge because if we get knocked down too often and too early sometimes it is much harder to go back so here is the metal inspiration it's just this half disc and it is longer you can see that there are extender chains there are one two three four different circles so you can wear it at different lengths but even at the shortest length it is pretty long it's going to be going over whatever top you're wearing so I was gonna see if I could just put this on over my head. That is one of the nice things about longer chains. Now, I don't usually wear longer chains and I have asked uh, Helena time and time again to give us some variation in the chain length or maybe just uh, more extender chains. Sometimes I feel like the chains, especially with um, the daintier designs, are a little bit chunky because uh, she doesn't alternate them very often. But you can see that is, I could go one inch shorter, but that would not raise it very much. But that is where that rests. But it does pair really nicely with this one, which is on a shorter chain that is just a blue plastic, plastic disc but I do think that's really pretty together. So um, I'll go ahead and take this back off now that I like got my hair everywhere it needed to be so that you guys can actually see how it looks. So here is the, the gold half disc 
And then here is the full disc. And then you're going to, I'm just trying to try to hang them together so that you guys can see, but I would probably do them a little bit closer together than what they have it. Here is what that would look like. So that is really pretty, kind of bigger pieces, very lightweight, very statement. I mean, I love the idea of layering these two pieces together. They're just a little bit too long for me to do that. Um, and that's the thing with a piece like this where you can't just switch, swap out the chain because it's actually attached to the pendant piece. Um, so for me, I will probably not get to wear them together um, just because I don't usually wear um, necklaces over my blouses. Um, but I do think the blue is really pretty even though it's just like a plastic disc. It's, you know, not necessarily, it kind of reminds me of when you see um, beach jewelry and you'll get like the blue capiz shells. It kind of has that vibe. I could see myself wearing the plain blue by itself just because it is a little bit shorter and that would be fun beach jewelry that I wouldn't really worry too much about like actually wearing at the beach because usually like with your finer more expensive jewelry like you're not going to wear that to the beach as lovely as it seems. So that's one of the things that I always kind of laugh at when you see like really expensive beach boutique jewelry like anklets or necklaces or even big you know statement earrings and you're like I would not pay that much for that jewelry piece and then wear it poolside or at the beach where the sand and the salt are just going to ruin it um so that's that's my thought you know that's my thought because it's not like necessarily real gold um but this is the kind of thing that i feel like you could take it on vacation and just wear it and be okay with it maybe not coming back looking quite the same so let's take a look at the earrings now the earrings I actually really like. So I can see myself holding onto these earrings and I almost wish, now a lot of the times uh, you can see how the necklace and the earrings play off one another. They're not exact replicas. Sometimes the pendant will just be a slightly larger version of the earrings. In this case, I think that's what I would have preferred is because you can see the gold and the blue together as a nice dangle earring and I actually really like that look much better so sometimes I like it when it's not too matchy but here I am being difficult and in this case and they do include the rubber stoppers for you in this case I'm like I really wish that the necklace looked just like the earrings either the same size or the bigger size um, because I would have worn it a lot more than pairing them together because even though I love the look of layered uh, necklaces I find them to be they really are prone to tangling but if this had been our necklace I feel like I would have worn it so much more especially if it was shorter um, I maybe even if it was longer I would have worn it more because I would have been able to um, have just one big statement piece but I feel like I would have totally worn it more if it was a shorter version like the length of the blue one but had that same layered look as the earrings. Totally would have worn it more. But I like the earrings. I think they're fun. I think that it's fun that the top blue part is translucent and you can see through it. So you guys let me know in the comments below. Do you like the layered look? Basically we got like a bonus uh, necklace, which is kind of fun. And I know a lot of you sort of like the bigger, um, chunkier jewelry pieces for necklaces, a little more statementy. But it's definitely got me thinking spring and summer. Um, as always, I think inspiration is great. Let's actually have a secret password. So sorry, this video is actually getting a little bit long, but let's have it be ocean since these are inspired by the ocean. Now, when you come across the secret password in one of my videos, you want to enter it along with your contact information in the Google form linked for you in the description box below. And then six days into the following month. So I give you a full five days in the following month to get through all of the videos. I will use a random number picker to you select a few winners to receive mystery boxes as my way of saying thank you for watching my videos in their entirety. Please don't put the secret passwords down into the comments. They have to be in the form. And so basically each secret password does count 
as an entry. So there can be anywhere from like eight to 12, sometimes even more secret passwords in a month. There's not a secret password in every video. You have to be 18 years or older. You have to have a US or Canadian mailing address. You do have to be subscribed to my channel. It doesn't have to be publicly. And just as a reminder, it is not affiliated with YouTube or any of the boxes that I open here on the channel. It is just my way of saying thank you for watching my videos. I really like these earrings. I wish that even if it had been the same size pendant and a little bit of a shorter one, I would have loved that. It would be really cool if in the future she did a little bit of customization and you could say what your preferred chain length is as well because I think a lot of the times a lot of her designs would work longer or shorter but if I could say that I always prefer shorter that would definitely um, probably get these pieces in the rotation a little bit more for me. But you guys let me know what you thought in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching my video and I will see you all very very soon in my next unboxing.